Well, hey everyone, we got three really big stories to bring you today. We know Nintendo dropped their financials, so we have updates on sales for things like Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin and the Switch, and whew, we're gonna go over all of that. But we also have our first ever look at real footage of Hogwarts Legacy on Nintendo Switch. And yes, I am not stuttering. Nintendo announced a live action Zelda movie. They gave us the director and some idea of who's making it because no, it's not universal. In fact, Nintendo's teaming up with widely considered one of their biggest rivals. Oh boy, folks, what are we waiting for? Let's jump into the news. <laughs> So first up, we have some leaked gameplay for Hogwarts Legacy on Nintendo Switch, and unfortunately, I can't show you much of it, just this little zoomed out look. Uh, please don't copyright claim me, I don't want to get in trouble, WB. But uh, yeah, it's out there, I've taken a look at it, I'll link over to the Reddit post where maybe you can find links to it, I, I'm not going to link directly to it. Again, WB, don't get mad at me, I'm just reporting the news here. But yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Why we haven't actually seen like a trailer, or like some gameplay, or a live stream by them when this game comes out and like six days I don't know but this is how they're choosing to treat the game and it's weird because the gameplay looks good it, it's handheld gameplay it looks really good and it's possible this is a high quality port so kind of strange that they're sort of just throwing it out there to die without any marketing but <sighs> it is what it is folks we'll have to wait and see it's just a small snippet of the very beginning of the game uh, so I wouldn't really say it's got any spoilers if you wanted to check it out Next up, we got to jump into Nintendo's financial update because, oh boy, did they drop the goods. We got Tears of the Kingdom, we got Pikmin, we got Switch sales. We got a lot to dive into. Now, if you're looking for all the Nintendo Switch 2 stuff, we already did a prior video on that, so you should go click up here and check that out. But here, we're going to go over all of the actual sales figures and buckle up, folks, because we are going to start with the update to the top 10 best-selling games on Nintendo Switch. And at number one is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe updated to 57 million. Well, 57.01 million, really. We have Animal Crossing New Horizons updated to 43.38 million. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate updated to 32.44 million. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild updated to 31.15 million. We have Super Mario Odyssey chiming in at number five at 26.95 million. Pokemon Sword and Shield at 26.02. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet at 23.23. We have Super Mario Party chiming in at 19.6. Six, and we have Tears of the Kingdom at number nine. That's right, it's already entered the top 10 at 19.5 million. And then we see new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe chiming in at 16.7 million. Now the Nintendo Switch lifetime sales have hit 132.46 million units, up roughly 3 million over the last fiscal quarter report. Now the Super Mario Bros. movie does appear to have boosted some things with Nintendo because we are seeing a lot of Mario games crossing a million sales in this last quarter that isn't typical. So we have things like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe selling 1.55 million this last quarter, Mario Party Superstar selling 1.27 million, and Mario 3D World selling 1.3 million. Now Pikmin 4 has now become the best selling Pikmin game of all time selling 2.61 million units and Nintendo posted a all-time record for the first two quarters of a fiscal report and they made a statement on it explaining how they pulled it off. Sales in the first half of the fiscal year were the largest since the launch of Nintendo Switch due to an increase in sales in our dedicated video game platform business as well as a rise in mobile and IP related income including revenue associated with the Super Mario Bros movie coupled with significant depreciation of the yen. So what happened is Nintendo's actually on pace to be ahead of last year. They have sold more Nintendo Switches in the first two quarters of this year than they did last year, although they didn't move their projections. They're still saying 15 million. That means they're projecting sales to really be down in the third quarter compared to the third quarter last year. Probably to be expected. We don't have like a major Pokemon game or anything else to sort of lift those sales back up. I know Mario Wonder is a thing, but we already have those sales. They've already seen the data. They're still not adjusting figures. But what's obviously going to help with the whole overall revenue for Nintendo being so damn good, when you're packing the Mario movie with the Tears of the Kingdom and a boost in Switch sales during that time period, it's going to look pretty good. So yeah, Nintendo's sitting really, really pretty. And uh, okay, sorry if I felt like I'm rushing those stories because guys, we need to talk about this. 
Yes, Nintendo actually announced a live-action Zelda movie. Oh, ah! I'm so excited. All right, let's get to the official website over here to check out what they had to say. So I am using a Google Translator version of this because this is the Japanese update. But it says development of a live action film for The Legend of Zelda is set to start. Nintendo Company LTD Representative Director and President of Shintaro Furukawa Nintendo hereafter today announced that it will develop a live action film of The Legend of Zelda. The film will be produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, representative director and fellow of Nintendo, and Avi Arad, chairman of Arad Productions Inc., who has produced many mega hit films. The film will be produced by Nintendo and Arad Productions and directed by Wes Ball. The film will be co financed by Nintendo and Sony. Pictures Entertainment Inc. with more than 50% financed by Nintendo. The theatrical distribution of the film will be done worldwide by Sony Pictures Entertainment. By producing visual contents of Nintendo IP by itself, Nintendo is creating new opportunities to have people from around the world to access the world of entertainment, which Zelda, which Nintendo has built, though different means apart from its dedicated game consoles. By getting deeply involved in movie production with the aim to put smiles on everyone's faces through entertainment, Nintendo will continue its efforts to produce unique entertainment and deliver to it as many people as possible. And for those who maybe don't recognize who West Ball is as a director, he's best known for the Maze Runner series, but it's arguable this will be maybe the biggest project he's ever taken on with one of the most legendary IPs. And when I sat there and we've heard rumors on Zelda movies for a while, a lot of it sounded like it might be animated, you can get this whole cinematic universe of Mario, Nintendo's like, no! We're going with live action. Now, I hope it's at least rated PG-13. We'll have to wait and see on that. Again, they're just starting production, so it's going to be a while. Three, four years before we see this film. But I'm so excited because if you think about what was possible 20 years ago with Lord of the Rings, and I don't know that this is going to be a Lord of the Rings kind of movie, but look at the visuals present in Lord of the Rings 20 plus years ago. Think about what they can do today with The Legend of Zelda. I can't wait. Obviously, there's no announcement of actors for any of the parts. There's still an active actor strike going on at the moment, so they couldn't announce it even if they've already casted some people for different characters. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen. Link's going to probably have to speak, so how are they going to manage that? Who's the right actor for Link? Zelda, Ganondorf. And you know what? It's no longer just like baseless speculation where we just dream up our dream characters and dream actors and actresses for a live-action Zelda movie. It's actually happening! And Nintendo partnered with Sony! They're partnering with Sony for this! That is just... Oh, I'm so excited for the future of Nintendo. They're in such a good place. I can't believe... I'm... Guys, I live in a world where we had a live, well, we had, where we had a fully animated Mario movie that was actually really damn good, and we're getting a live-action Zelda movie in my lifetime? Oh, man, if I don't die from excitement first, I suppose, right? You know we're going to have to talk about this all tonight and on the Nintendo Prime Podcast tomorrow at 8 p.m. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was Prime News, and I'm primed to get to our live stream tonight because... Ah! Zelda movie! Yeah! <laughs>